Today's birthday is Riley Clevenger, Grace Ferry, and Michael Gibbs. Happy birthday! Hi, my name is Danielle. And Zoe. With this day in history. February 25th in 1919, League of Nations. Set up by Paris Treaty. Oh! Oh my god. Today's national day is National Tortilla Chip Day. Today's lunch is turkey, nachos, and corn. Hey, Caleb, what's the joke of the day? Your life! Hi. I'm Kel. And hi, I'm Bodhi. This week on What's Trending on February 16, 2016, a Florida man drives straight through a tornado, not even noticing debris flying and cars slamming to a halt. Even the most experienced storm chasers don't even do this extreme act, and he survives. Point. He nearly collides with another vehicle, which was stopped in the middle of the chaos. Following the incident, Anthony posted his dash cam video to Facebook. When one commenter remarked on how he couldn't believe Cherokee didn't see the tornado, he replied saying that his high-resolution camera was able to pull in more light than his eyes and that he was, quote, also focused on driving, end quote. The South Craig Marin team traveled to Charlotte on Monday night to compete in their last away game of the season. Charlotte defeated Western with a final score of 31-23. to Cindy Sires led the team with six points. Kenna Lewis and Morgan King put up put in four points each, and Chloe Hotze added three points. The seventh grade goal team defeated Charlotte Monday night, 32-14. Leading the Panthers was Gary Styles with 16 points, Emily Bradley followed with eight points, and Liberty Skruzinski had three points. The 8th grade Gold Panthers hosted their final home game of the season against the Charlotte Orioles Monday night. The Panthers played an intense first half. Going into halftime, the Panthers were down by one point. They battled in the third quarter, but were defeated 13-19. Julia Lapierre, Olivia Hubbard, Hannah Mitchell, and Willow Bentley all contributed two points. And Abby M Mills, Emily Dinges, and Michaela Kraft each added one point. The 8th grade Maroon team started the game off with momentum when Chelsea Hurt hit three threes in the first quarter. Charlotte was able to answer back from the free throw line and took the lead going into halftime. The Panthers worked hard, worked extremely hard to get the lead back, but it was it just didn't go our way tonight. The Charlotte won the game 49 to 43, leading the way for the Panthers was Natalie Shelberg with an impressive double double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Chelsea Hurt also chipped in 11 points. Quinn Natsky added 10 points. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? My name is Ed Pollock, and, if I, and it would be pizza. I'm faithful, and um, I would probably choose steak and mashed potatoes. If you could have one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hi, I'm Chris Freeman, and I would have mac and cheese. Hi, I'm Max DeRocher, and I have some goldfish. Hi, I'm Gavin Price, and I'll have watermelon. Hi, my name is Alex Peck, and I would eat fried chicken. <laughs> Atoms are the defining structure of elements. A particular atom will have the same number of protons and electrons. Atoms are the basic building blocks of matter. Atoms are composed of particles called protons, electrons, and neutrons. Cause you and me need atoms to live together. All objects on earth including earth are made up of atoms. Cause you and me need atoms to live together. All objects on Earth, including Earth, are made up of atoms. Da da da, da 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 da. Atoms are really small and are made up of smaller particles. Atoms join together to form the things around us. Cause you and me need atoms to live together. 
All objects on Earth, including Earth, are made up of atoms. Hello, my name is Riley, and I am a CPU Federal Credit Union worker. This is my friend, Kelsey Shaw. And we are just going to give you the daily credit union announcements. So today we are going to talk about vacation. First, I'm going to tell you a fact. Did you know that Ben Franklin suggested the design for the first penny? No, I didn't. How many people are going on vacation for spring break? I am. <laughs> Who likes gift shops? We'll start saving and you can buy what you want for yourself or others. So you can remember spring break. Start saving if you want to open an account. You can get $5 in your account to start. That's called the sweet treat deal. Yeah. If you like field trips, then you can take your pants to the main branch to start an account. We have a little announcement. So the next credit union um, work thing is Friday, February 26th, and um, First Shift will be working. Just let you know First Shift. <laughs> to end, we have a joke for you. Why does it rain money? I don't know. When there's a change in the weather. <laughs> That's so cheesy. Good morning, Western Middle School. This is Mrs. Allison. And Mr. Hinkle. With a few words of wisdom. How many times have you promised yourself that you would start exercising more and getting really fit? We've all made and broken these kinds of promises to ourselves, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try again. One way to increase the likelihood of success is to keep your fitness goals realistic and to involve your family. If you make the decision as a family to exercise more, you are much more likely to be successful because you can support and encourage one another. There are lots of ways families can be active together. Family walks are a great option and a healthy way to spend time with one another. It's been said that the groundwork of all happiness is health. So, if you need to be more active, encourage your family to get